This is a Fox News alert. This is Ed Henry live in Singapore. We now have breaking details about what is in this document that was signed by the president and Kim Jong Un. The document specifically spells out that Kim Jong Un now commits to quote complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. I want to quote it directly. President Trump, the document says, committed to provide security guarantees to the DPRK and Chairman Kim Jong Un reaffirmed his firm and unwavering commitment to complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. So you're going to have critics coming out undoubtedly in the hours ahead saying that maybe this is not such a big deal. But hang on a second. When you look at the nitty gritty detail, it certainly sounds like we're moving towards anyway, moving towards denuclearization. Let's get some live reaction. Jesse Jane Duff, she's live in Washington, a retired Marine gunnery sergeant, a senior fellow with the London Center for Policy Research. Good to see you, Jesse. What's your Good immediate to you. reaction to not just the events we've seen unfolding, but we've been waiting for these details. We finally got our hands on it. Certainly sounds like we're moving towards denuclearization. This is mind blowing. The a hair on my arms raised when the producer told me what the outcome was of this document. I am thrilled. We are all thrilled. This is a very positive step in the right direction. We've all been skeptical. We don't know if it's going to be a hat trick. We haven't tried to figure out, or we've been trying to figure out, what are the ki what is Kim up to? What is he going to do? Is there going to be a sleight of hand? We even all expected that possibly President Trump would walk away. We have seen nothing but progress up to this point. I think every person out there on this planet right now had to gasp and say, oh, my God, because we have waited over 70 yeah. years for this. Jesse, uh, I want to read some of the other details. We're just getting this is spilling in as breaking news. Uh, the United States and the DP, DPRK will join their efforts to build a lasting and stable peace regime on the Korean Peninsula. Obviously, a long way how you define peace and how we're going to get there. But the idea that the president said before this summit, I'm on a mission of peace. His critics laughed. His critics said this may never get off the ground. And here it is in black and white, Jesse. Well, the problem that we do have is that the Kim family has never been on a mission of peace. Their whole goal and objective has been to reunify with the peninsula, uh, South Korea, that is. So when you now remove their capability to attack or assault or take over South Korea, my biggest fear now is, is that Kim is going to be suddenly disarmed and aware that uh, he is really vulnerable. And when he is a vulnerable man, you get very nervous reactions from any dictator dictator who has disarmed. Yeah. So this is where we have a big risk. What is the next step to protect Kim? That is my first question. Not that I want to protect him, but if he cannot protect himself, then we can't see this moving forward because essentially those nuclear weapons Jesse, have been his life insurance policy. Uh, there's a last point in this uh, document signed by the president and Kim uh, that uh, I want to get your reaction to as a military veteran. It says the United States and DPRK commit to recovering POW MIA remains, including the immediate repatriation of those already identified. There are a lot of people in the United States still waiting for answers about the remains of their loved ones from the Korean War. This is an important development as well. Oh, this, this just touches my heart. I'm, I'm so overwhelmed to hear this because the fact of the matter is, is they're all across the nation. POW and MIA flags fly all across this nation. And there are many men who have served during the Vietnam era and women that never saw their loved ones or family members or fellow uh, service members again. And we don't know where their remains are. And if this can happen, this is yeah. an extraordinary move to the patriotism of our country uh, to feel some gratitude. Jesse Jane Duff, a remarkable, remarkable evening into the early morning.